Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka Edini Has to Stop at Ba. And I'm currently here doing self love readings, and I am on the sign of Virgo. So let's get into it. All right, so divine forces of unconditional love. What does the sign of Virgo need to know for their highest good in the area of self love? family please know that these readings are very general so all of these storylines if any storylines or messages come that come through may not be for everyone you know so we just got aromatherapy virgo so aromatherapy could help you I just, well i just saw that on the bottom of the deck i'm not sure if that's going to be one of your cards but it did come up um uh, so some essential oils will be good. Lavender, chamomile, and you know, those things that can help you relax. Taking a walk. Um, but yeah, these readings are general. So just take what resonates and leave what, what, leave what doesn't resonate, okay? Um, negative energies, I send you away with love and light. You're not welcomed in this space. And I pray for your ascension. divine forces of unconditional love please bring clear and accurate messages for the sign of virgo in the area of self-love okay in the area of self-love what does the sign of virgo need to know for their highest good so i saw fire and ice and then the heaven card So I feel like, again, it's about, well, I want to say again, but choices, Virgo. It's all about choices. Your heaven or your hell is, lies within the choices that you make, the choices uh, of perception. So I'm going to shuffle each deck one more time and then cut it and then pull out your card. So that's this one shuffle. The cut, all right, all right, so let's look for fairies. In the bottom of the deck, we have Reed, okay? Let's get uh, an abundance card for you, one shuffle, and then we're gonna cut it. Look for fairies. Mm. Interesting, it says look for fairies, and then this card here, the first word that's on there is reality um and fairies can be reality for some people but some people um feel like it's fantasy but um yeah i'm not gonna read that just yet that card is for the reading and i like to start with the bottom of the deck energy all right, so the light field is what you have. Read, so you might be needed to read people's orals and light fields. Um, it says, so much more awaits you, Virgo. There will come a day when you look back at where you've been and where you are now and call these your warm-up years. And it doesn't matter how old you are, okay? Um, it says, more love, more fun, more friends, more laughter, more thoughts, more things, more, more, lots more. You're so cute, the universe. So again, like, you know, as I was saying before, perception. You have to be able to uh, perceive that there's more awaiting you, um, Virgo, and perhaps that you need to do some research and some reading. So we have 42 here, which is a six, which is a number of healing for me, of balance. So it says, I expand my, I enjoy expanding my mind for the reading card here. It says whether the book is a fantasy novel, which I did mention fantasy with the uh, fairy. So you may uh, benefit from reading something that's a little bit more light, something more of the 5D, considering that, you know, Virgos, you guys are earth signs and, um, that earth energy can be very grounding, very 3D based. So spirit may be wanting you to spend more time in the rim here. Um, and you can do that.
by reading fantasy books. So it says whether the book is fantasy, a fantasy novel or a work of nonfiction, reading opens us to new perspectives. Remember, I did, I did speak about perspectives, right? And expands our minds. Get your hands on a book that gets you excited. Borrow one from a friend. Visit your local library and ask the librarian for top picks. Or go to a bookstore and browse and browse the recommended titles table. Turn the experience of discovering what's just right for you into an adventure. Just make sure you set some t set aside time to read a few pages each day. This self-care practice can be perfect for beginning your day or winding down in the evening, Virgo. It says consider how reaching for a book instead of your phone, Ashe, could support you in finding more balance. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I don't think there could have been a better card for you guys, Virgo. Um, let's read the light field here for your love journey. It says you're very open to the other side, right? You're very open to the other side, the fairy side, that 5D energy. The veil that separates the world is very fine for you, Virgo. Um, for there is much love in your heart and love exists beyond all barriers, including those of time, distance, and even death. If you wish to communicate with those that have passed on, do so through your heart. Okay, make amends perhaps with, you know, people that have passed on that you didn't get a chance to make amends with while they were here. If you want to communicate energetically with your beloved, even though you are separated in physical location, then you can do so now. Know that you have that power. Okay, if your psychic abilities are opening and you need confirmation or reassurance, Accept this message of guidance as being such. And we also have the acceptance card here, Virgo. Accept your power. Know that you're more, more powerful than you think you are. And you can attract more into your life with this power. This power of uh, perception, you know, that there is more, that more awaits you. Could be within a book. There's more for you, Virgo. That's the sign. That's the choice that you need to know and to, you know, realize that there's more out here for you. And maybe you feel like there isn't. And that's why there's a blockage in the self-love. You know, because you're feeling perhaps limited, but spirit is saying you're not and you are so connected. The veil is very thin for you. It's only it's going to it only takes you tapping into that information to tapping into that guidance that is there okay says so those who have passed can be received fully and peacefully into the light and your love guides them home the messages that you sense in your own heart that come from unconditional love that uplift and reassure can be trusted the light is so close to you beloved it surrounds you as the glow from within this oracle brings you guidance that you are connecting with a field of awareness that is real a field of awareness that is real so look for fairies. It's a, you know, this is a new, it may not, you know, and then you see, then they have like butterfly wings. So maybe butterflies are, are fairies as well. But, you know, this is a field of awareness, this light field where um, fairies and those uh, light beings are not of the dream world but they're real the spirit is wanting you to understand and accept that that realm uh, exists and that you can be a part of that lightness but it's, again it is a choice it is a perception okay so it says uh, this, this oracle brings guidance that you are connecting with the field of awareness that is real and that you are protected by light as you do so it is confirming that there is nothing for you to fear and that those who that have passed on or will pass on in future will always be safely held in love. It is also confirmation that there are very real bonds that connect you to your loved ones, past, present and future that are beyond the confines of time and space. OK, so um, let's look at the look for fairies card. All right. It says what I believe. I see appear before me what I believe I see appear before me exactly so if you believe that there's more 
more and that more awaits you, you will see it in front of you because you are that powerful. Remember, the veil for you, Virgo, is very thin. You know, you guys are very spiritual. It's time for you to tap into that spirit. It wants you to tap more into the spirit realm. Um, it says, keep your eyes and ears open for evidence of fairies and other ethereal beings. Remember, they are genuinely all around you, brimming with the creative ideas and guidance to help you on your journey. You just have to tune into their presence. But first, you have to believe that they exist. Whether we focus on or put energy toward, toward whatever we put, whatever we focus on and put energy toward will shape our life experience. Exactly. So if you feel like you're in lack, you're going to experience lack. Okay. If you feel like reading is boring, then you're going to be bored when you read and not be able to expand your mind. The one thing that you may need to um, hear or that will spark your, your creativity could be within a book, within a fantasy book, you know. But it says the magic surrounding us can typically be seen only by those who are in a state of joy looking at the world through the eyes of a child and open to infinite possibilities. Soften your gaze when you're outside in nature and keep aware of that, keep aware of what you spy in your peripheral vision. You may just see fairies playing in the sunshine and by flowing and by flowing water. If you whisper to them from within, they'll often whisper back with a cheeky little remark. Be kind and respectful to them and they won't toy with you too much all right the journal prompt here says how do you think you can connect more with your childlike sense of wonder and keep open to life and infinite potential all right so supporting that we have the acceptance card here spirit is just wanting you to accept this new realm this new energy okay says you have offered yourself as to be of service to the greater good created something that you want to contribute toward healing of our world and your offer has been gratefully accepted by the divine know this and be at peace virgo this oracle brings you a message you are completely received accepted by the divine just as you are there's nothing to change just be you you have made an offering of prayer a sacrifice of attachment and a giving of desire to be of service to make a contribution to the world and your offer is joyfully being transformed into the seeds of how this can best be your next step is about to begin and then we have the re this card here your abundance card it says reality is not that you're weak and dream of becoming strong Ooh, poor and dream of becoming rich alone and dream of having friends but that you are already strong, rich, and among friends. Yet at times you dream that you're not silly, the universe. Yes, yes, beautiful, right? It's all about perception, Virgo. All about perception, okay? I don't even, I can't, what, what more is there to say? It's the same message you know so we have the knight of cup spirit is wanting you to live a life that is um, one of love one of love love will allow you to um, overcome any confusion that you may be experiencing um, you may be feeling like you have a lot that you need to juggle. But again, it's all about perception, remember? And then we have the Knight of Pentacles here, which is an earth energy. Slow moving, but it's clarified by the tower. Okay, so a sudden revelation um, coming in that um, shakes up your uh, habits, shakes up your foundation and forces you into this energy of self-mastery you know and no longer seeing yourself as the nine of ones as the wounded warrior but um uh, taking you know matters into your hand your own hands here with the sword of truth and moving into your destiny 
okay with the will of fortune here moving into your destiny um putting an end to this woe of woe is me energy i see this four of cups here which could be the card of drinking you may be drinking a lot uh virgo but spirit is saying you know come out of that energy of self-loathing and see and know that there's more you know reality it's not that you're weak and dream of becoming strong, poor and dream of becoming rich and long and dream of having friends. You're already strong, rich and amongst friends. Yet at times you dream that you're not perception. So much more awaits you. The day will come when you look back and you see that these are your warm up years. More love, more friends, more more fun, more laughter, more thoughts, more things, more and more. Lots more perception. You have more that is coming to you. You just have to accept that. Accept that you are perfect just the way you are. There's nothing that you need to do. Only see yourself as God sees you. Exactly. And then we have the King of Pentacles and the Star card. This is, again, that self-mastery. This King of Pentacles, Pentacles is coming right underneath this Nine of Pentacles, which is the self-mastery, self -mastery, self-consciousness card. King of Pentacles is that mastery of the Pentacle suit that is you reaching your full power. Star card, get in, in tune with your star player. And then look at here. We have your card here coming out with the uh, Hermit. Hermit here with the Ace of Swords. Exactly. You're going within and you're finding that truth. Um, that message of truth from spirit as you know bottom of the deck we do have the eight of ones here and right beneath that the four of swords which is the healing card you know taking the time to heal your perception which is going to bring you to your ten of cups allowing you to uh, stand your guard against stand your ground against any heartbreak or pain that may have come in the past all of that is ending because we have two nines on each on, on top of each other the nine of pentacles and the nine of ones you are coming to the end of um, a cycle and it's time for you to elevate to the next level someone that is more in tune with spirit more in tune with love which is who you are at the very soul level you are love each every each and every one of us come from love and so spirit is wanting you to embody that energy again um and just take your time in this um moment of elevation of growth be patient with yourself but you know it's beautiful beautiful energy all right virgo that was your self-love reading um hope that helped in some way shape form or fashion um, if you like the reading, please like, share, subscribe, or donate to the channel. Um, Cash App link will be below, and my email will be below, too, if you would like a personal reading. Um, again, I love you all, and until next time, peace.